What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Assassination Classroom. Today we are finishing season one. I'm very excited. And with that being said, the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, I'm sure most of you guys are aware. Um, the full length version, which is normally available only on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So it is in the description down below. Make sure you guys click that enjoy the free full length come back here for the review when you're done and if you guys do enjoy that format and want to consider keeping it for the rest of the shows maybe check out that patreon great benefits over there um we've dealt with two of the three assassins we need a there's a whole lot going on for just being like an island vacation it's, it's very shocking to be honest but i'm glad of how much good character development we're getting how many cool character moments we're getting between like karma terasaka the girls nagisa all that just to be built up to this culmination at the end of season one so i'm excited i said we hop right on into it don't forget to leave a like let me know your thoughts down below uh subscribe click that bell all the typical jazz this one is called xx time i don't know what that means but let's hop right on into it oh yeah he was pacing around this theater room and we were already hiding behind the seats and stuff This man's got a Byakugan, apparently. Yes, sir, that is live. <laughs> that is live ammo. I like how she was aiming for the gun. If we can get the gun out of his hands, that is huge. Episode 21, XX time. I always hated super bright lights like that on like a stage stage lights are insane so he has military experience you're so weird we got some uh commentary some advice from koro that who is saying that you're so weird okay we're doing some very organized movement thanks to my boy koro look at the coordination look at the teamwork <sighs> we have no we have different names other than you know our normal names all the time i love that out of and to find that he liked it i love these descriptors <laughs> terasaka went to the maid cafe that's hilarious Wow. See, this is what I meant when I talk about the character arcs and the little development for every like student, I swear. People think whether it's shooting and assassinations, whether it's school, whether it's whatever, people think there's no alternative, you know? You don't know. You can fail as many times as you want. Tasted. You have allies at your side that share your experience exactly yes lose some of the doubt the hesitation be confident in your shot because no it's not the end of the world if you miss that's out koro i know i said that a lot but again bro that is so weird to me it was a cardboard cutout that was smart obviously they anticipated my boy okay Gun gets blasted right out of his hand or something, huh? He shot like the the brackets holding up the electrical equipment. Oh my god. And then she shoots the gun out of his hand. Slick. Hundred percent. <laughs> I guess we couldn't have asked for better training experience than this then. That's uh, all a teacher can be right there. That's all we can ask for, right? High walls and good good classmates, whatever he said. Right. Talk about a classroom environment. Oh my lord. There's a reason they haven't shown us him yet is he someone we know that's true he did hired assassins to do that job interesting right that was a pure headshot and that guy has insane strength you know 
Yup. And then you got Smog as well. Oh, he's not an assassin. Oh, did he get infected from the virus too? Yeah. You're a savage, Terasaka. You're going through it. Mmm, that's when that happened. He didn't get poisoned by the gas. He just got infected, but he's just saying because of him that uh, Karasuma got infected so, or poisoned. So he just personally feels motivated and keep going. Is it what's his name's? Ooh. I love that. The silent footsteps. Namba? Is that what that's called? Is it Shiro, the guardian of Itona, the brother? Because he's not an assassin. He's a good organizer with a good plans, you know? Who's not afraid to put the students in danger. Something tells me he's not going to be in the chair. It's definitely not Shiro with the way he's talking right now. Oh, it was like a hunter detonator, so you're not shooting. As in, like, the fucked up dude? What was his name? Akira, right? The teacher? This dude's back? Oh, hell no. He mentions dad and being the whole family or nah. I, was, I didn't think it was him because of the whole scratch marks, but I was like, he's just going crazy since what happened with Nagisa. We're only alive thanks to your benevolence. We're about to possibly die thanks to your malevolence, is what you mean. Okay. Oh my god! That's dark, Cement? I'm a little, like, shocked. Bro, this guy, I'm sorry, I never, I'm rarely one to say this, but yeah, he needs to be put down. I didn't even write down his name when we got it. Uh, well, I changed notebooks. I didn't rewrite his name down because I didn't think he would ever come back. Yeah, Buddy is eternally salty that Nagisa whooped his ass. <laughs> That's how Karma willing to put himself in the line. That's what I'm saying. You chose those rules and you still lost. I mean, in order to stop his friends from dying and to, you know, I hope so. I mean, next episode is called Nagisa time, so. With the same knife as well. I do like the setup shot we have right now with the helicopter pad and the very specific like green helicopter you know pad lights that they use. It makes this area look sick. He got rid of the uh, the walkway up to the helipads. So now it's literally just us. So not only do you want us to grovel, but you want to kill us on top of that. And then kill Koro and possibly some of our other classmates. And Nagisa's just going for it? This guy's deranged. Literally deranged. And of course, Nagisa's lying. I mean, he's not lying, but, you know, he has amazing skill. He didn't pull a dirty trick. Talk about taking a hit to your pride and your ego for the betterment of your classmates. Like, there's a lot of anime characters who wouldn't be able to do this, you know? You think Bakugo's doing this? You think Vegeta's doing this? So then what do we do? How do we... What? What do we do? Like, I never want to see a student or a kid or one of our nice, wholesome main characters kill anyone. But if there's ever permission to kill someone, I would be down. Yeah, he looks right at Terasaka because that's pretty much sealing Terasaka's fate. 
grab that knife stab this boy in the face if i saw some game of thrones house of dragon jjk chainsaw man attack on titan shit right now i would not be disappointed is he turning super saiyan what the hell is going on with nagisa I don't know if I like that labored breathing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't like Nagisa looking like this, but if you need to kill this, kill this fucking lips. Kill this dude. Don't tell me that's the end of the first episode. Don't tell me. Oh, thank the Lord we got another one. Thank the Lord we got another one. All right, final episode, episode two, Nagisa time. Uh, I think his name's Akira. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Either he needs to get arrested, killed, or like put in a institutionalized. Or so he needs to never be able to do this again. Shouts out Terasaka throwing us the fucking taser. Let's not kill him, please. And I like how it's Terasaka too. Come on, even though technically his life is on the line right now. You can tell Terasaka's feeling it too. That's rough. <laughs> I like the optimism. Right? We don't want you losing, losing who you are. Nagisa, come on. Even though, I mean, it's not worth it. You guys are completely right. Would only work against you. Blind rage, all that. Yes. 100% agreeing with everything you're saying. But let's still kill him, please. Can I? I'll do it. I'll jump in the show if you guys want me to do it. That's fine. People in uh, Akira's position don't realize their shame is never going away. Even if you did somehow kill everyone right here, you know? Yeah, we gotta hurry up, deal with fucking Akira, and then get smog and get a remedy. Kill him within an inch of his life. So kill him, but don't kill him. Jacket off, tank top out, strapped up, ready to go. Right? Normally he's like, wait, Karasuma, let them keep fighting. You have no idea what he's gonna do. He's like, hey, if he actually is about to die, don't be afraid to fucking shoot him. Like, shoot that man. Do love the way he has like that after image when he walks exactly like Killua. Who does Terasaka or not Terasaka? Who does fucking Akira think he is? Rock Lee? Chill out. God damn. Nagisa is getting his ass whooped. I mean, yeah, rightfully so. Like Karasuma was saying, this man is an experienced military monster. Like, I'm sorry, if I was in uh, Karasuma, I would have already shot him. As soon as I he threw the first punch knee, I'm shooting that dude in the head. Yeah, he needs to be put in the institution for sure. This guy is just not mentally sane. Oh, okay, ace up the sleeve. I do remember them talking about that. The surefire technique. What are the three conditions? like it's like it's like a hunter hunter you must have two weapons okay you must be up against an expert so very specific conditions that's a very specific one all conditions have been met now he's doing the same smile again interesting i actually really am enjoying that lovro is the one who's teaching us this you know the assassin don himself as fast as you can, as far as you can, as loud as you can. Time it just after dropping the knife. That is true. It's like Kuroko's vanishing drive. It's just misdirection, all, to be honest. And then as it drops, literally as fast as you can. What, are going in for a hug? What in the hell just happened? I'm glad you asked that as well, because I have no... So within that split second, swiftly draw the second blade. 
What the hell, Nagisa? Always reminds me of Mob Psycho and uh, Reagan pulling him from murderous intent, you know. So, shouts out to having good people to pull you out of those dark scenarios. I mean, there's a way we can look at it like that. Like, he's a horrible man, but yes, he's taught us some things we absolutely need to know. So, how do we treat that? What face are you going to make for him, Nagisa? <laughs> With a smiley face? Thank you, senpai! Good. Good. I hope you become restless every night. Thank you. Arigato. I knew it. Well, even though I might have had a little bit of hesitation and doubt, shouts out Nagisa. Very pleasantly surprised. And the rest of the kids, obviously. I mean, the kids all had a moment to shine throughout this whole ordeal. It was like a four or five episode, six episode, seven episode little arc thing. How were they all up again? <laughs> He's like, what? You're cool with that? Yeah. Most ins instances in shows and movies I've seen like this, when the boss dies, they're like, hey, I ain't getting paid anymore. It's just advanced food poisoning. Well, shouts out to assassins having decent consciousnesses out there. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm glad that guy's getting arrested. I feel the worst for him. The wasabi plus the hot must or whatever. I mean, I forget Grip dude's name. I think it is just Grip, but shouts out to him being more patient than me. I would have killed Karma for what he did. Never in my life would I be thinking I'd be say this, but shouts out to those three assassins. Smog, Grip, and Gun Tip. I don't know his name, but I'll call him that. That's hilarious. You always need a buddy to call out to, you know. I was just watching Kuroko in uh, Kuroko no Basket, and Kuroko did the same thing for Kise. Good. I'm glad everyone's feeling better. I sure as hell hope so. I hope Karasuma can be like that fucking teacher that we see and talk to even after we graduate, you know? They got Nintendo DSs. What are they playing? Give me a max potion. <laughs> Are they playing Pokemon? That had to be Koro. He's like, damn. All right, guys. See you on Monday for class. <laughs> and just like that, it's like nothing happened. I'm just joking. We had great moments. Is it a sunrise or a sun? I guess night just ended. So it's a sunrise. I'm an idiot. Summer camp with the students. Why is he cracking open a bunch of watermelons? I mean, I love watermelon. Don't get me wrong. Right? <laughs> All I'll say is those anti-coral BBs better be biodegradable. Otherwise, they're littering a lot on the beach, too. Which, ooh. I can't be saying ooh, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Shouts out to the girls having their fun. <laughs> What's her? Kayano hates a... Uh, all the well-endowed women of the class will say. Yeah, you hate water. You better watch out, mister. <laughs> yeah. Shouts out Okajima. <laughs> Is he naked? There's, he's just straight skinny without hesitation. He said, let it fly. I wish I had that kind of confidence just to get... Oh my god. Bro, what is with that swimsuit? I know, OnlyFans girls this day and age weren't wearing anything like that. Have you, you just chase them for calling you a bit? Hey, bitch sensei. Look at our squad. We are killers. 
This is like the same statement he said at the very beginning of season one. And now it really feels like nothing have changed. You know, we're right back at fucking school. Second term. Oh, God. This assassination classroom. Talk about a talk about a good finale for season one. That with the moon. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. So even though I didn't remember a single thing, there was not a single thing besides I remember Ritsu a little bit. Like there was a couple of very small things that I remember throughout the season. Like I remember they would go on a vacation, but I don't, I don't remember the context at all. But now that I'm caught up to the end of season one, I want to let you guys know that I full full blindness from here on out because I did watch season one years and years and years ago. Um, so that's why, you know, rewatching it to get back into it, to know exactly what's going on. But season two, I have not seen it all. So I know absolutely nothing that's going on. But talk about a great finale to season one. Thoroughly enjoyed this island adventure. I kind of want to go on an island vacation myself. Would you guys be down? Let's go do an assassination vacation. Um, shouts out Cora, Coro. I almost said Cora. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised as to say, but shouts out to the three assassins as well. Smog, Grip, and Gun Tip. I don't know actual Gun Tip's name, but I mean, that was pure logic and reasoning at the end there. He was like, we could, I mean, this guy told us his plan, so we knew he wasn't going to give you guys the, the antidote. So do we kill a bunch of respectable high school kids or um, do we take a little bit of a professional hit? And we just wait out, and, you know, went from there. <laughs> and so shouts out to them. I think his name's Akira. I don't have my other notebook right here because I didn't write it. I didn't really didn't think he'd be coming back. So because I have all the students names and some of the other staff members. I have some other names, but not his name. I think it's Akira, though. I think they call him Tak something like that absolutely big fuck you to him like there's some there's one thing having vengeance pettiness you know shame whatever but to take it out to this extreme like to be this radical to kill it you know like it's actually insane so i'm glad it worked out as well as it did i'm glad nagisa got that taught that surefire move from lovro the three conditions you know must be going against an expert they must have felt fear or death and you have to have two weapons so shouts out to that Shouts out to Nagi says, well, overall, super funny, super fun, super dark, but not dark. Like, even though the tension is high and the possibility of death is there, I don't obviously I don't think any of our kids are going to die, but this is as tense as they could have made it. So I genuinely appreciate that. Shouts out to Assassination Classroom. Shouts out to you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. All that jazz. Check out that Patreon. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.